Warning. This video and its content is not meant for children. This video contains explicit language, regardless of the characters featured in this video, or the film or television series that they are associated with. This video was not made for, nor meant for anyone under the age of 13. Again, this is not made for anyone under the age of 13. There's a lot of fucking bullshit going on on YouTube right now. Don't really know how to feel super enthusiastic about this video. But I figure, no, oh, fuck it. It's geeking time. Welcome back. All right, so I picked up a bunch of pops recently. Well, some that I've had for a while that I've never showed you guys, and uh, some stuff that I have picked up recently. I'm going to go over what I have. I've got some Funko Pops, and I've got a couple of Rock Candies. Some of the Pops I have are a full set. So, with that being said, let's get on to the haul. So, I'm going to start with the Rock Candies. So, just recently, uh, I know this is from last year's convention, but recently, uh, at my EB Games, I got for uh, on sale for 5 bucks. I got the Alana Rock Candy from the comic book series Saga. I fucking love this comic book. Um, I even got Vanessa into it. She loved it. She loves it a lot. Uh, but yeah, it's a really cool comic book series from Image Comics. It's basically like your, uh, basically your sci-fi, Star Wars type. So this is exactly what she looks like outside of the packaging. It's pretty cool looking. Comes with a with a uh, with a gun. Uh, I believe she has a stand. Hang on. I can't get the stand out, but here's Alana. She does not want to stand, but there's Alana. Uh, the next rock candy I have is a character from my favorite Disney movie. Although this one's from Ralph Breaks the Internet. We've got Princess Jasmine. Alright, so there's Princess Jasmine. She's holding the lamp with some blue, or no, sorry, purple shit coming out of the lamp. I don't know what the fuck that is, but whatever. It's a pretty cool looking figure. There's the back of her. She's in her Casual gear. I think it's a really nice looking rock candy. So yeah, and I like that she's kind of basically wearing Converse shoes. Alright, so those are the rock candies. Alana, Jasmine, and those are the rock candies I got. So now we're going to move on to the stupid fucking pops. <laughs> Do apologize. Let's pour myself some good old rum. It's good stuff. Well, that being said, let's have a sip of this. Let's get on to the next pop. I'm going to start with a pop that I've had for a while. I, just, I don't think I've ever showed you guys. Maybe you have seen it in the past video. I just never did an unboxing of it for you guys. Uh, so that being said, we have one of the original Deadpool pops. It's pretty cool. I think it's like a couple years old now, this guy. So I really like this thing. Uh, I'll get him out of the packaging so I can show you. So there's Mr. Deadpool. He's a bobblehead, you know, because he's Marvel. Comes with his twin katanas, so like he says in the movie, if you're wondering why he's got the katanas, maybe that's because he's about to turn somebody into a fucking kebab. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, great as Deadpool in the movies. This is my little Deadpool guy. Next are two pops from one of my favorite sitcoms of all time. So first off, recently I picked up, it's a little damaged, the box. Uh, that sucks. It's a bunch of shit, but whatever. Uh, we got Leonard Hofstadter from The Big Bang Theory. I like this pop. This is one of the iconic moments where he shows uh, Sheldon the sign that sarcasm, because, you know, Sheldon never really understood sarcasm in the show. But yeah, I'll take this out of the box to show you guys. All right, so there's Mr. Leonard. You can see he's holding up his sarcasm sign. I like it. It's cool. I mean, it's a person. It's a human pop, so not much more to it, but... There's, uh, there's uh, sorry, Leonard. Uh, next up we have Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory. Again, like I said, Big Bang Theory is one of my favorite sitcoms of all time. Let's get him out of here. And there's Sheldon. He's doing the, what's it, uh, rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock motion with his hand, which is really cool. 
And I actually think for a little pop, it actually kind of looks like Sheldon, which is pretty cool. It comes in his uh, jacket that he wore all the time on the show. Alright, so those are those guys. Um, let's move them to the side. Got a couple more here. So the next one comes with it from this really fucking old anime, I believe. This is Gigantor. When I saw this, I thought that was the coolest looking robot pop ever. So that's really cool. I've had this for a couple years now. I uh, actually never, I don't know why I never showed it off. Uh, but he's a really decent looking pop. We'll get him out of the box and show you. So there's Gigantor. He's really cool looking. I really dig the blue paint job on him. And the yellow eyes. And again, he's really detailed. He's got his uh, jetpacks on the back of him. He's got a pointy nose like most pops don't have noses. So that one's really cool. And uh, before I get to the set of pops, I got two other horror pops. Okay, so recently in terms of horror pops, I picked up a pop that I've been wanting for a very long time. I've already got the Jason Voorhees, so I figured, hey, i got to get this pop to go with him. So we got Freddy Krueger. Vanessa really hates this pop. She thinks it's the scariest fucking looking thing ever. I love it. I'm a Freddy fan. Alright, so let's get him out. Now, yes, I know I should have shown this to you guys during Halloween. But I was like, I didn't have him at Halloween. I got him a little after Halloween, so I was like, oh, I'll just do it now. So there's Mr. Freddy Krueger. And again, he's pretty detailed too. And I like his, uh, I like the claws that they put on him. They're pretty cool looking. And you know, um, just like Deadpool, his face looks like he had sex with an avocado. <laughs> so there's Freddy Krueger. If he wants to stand properly. I don't think Freddy won't. There we go. We got him to stand. And the last one we got here, it's a specialty series, and I've seen this one run for like 50 bucks, but I only got it for 14. Uh, we have the Universal Monsters Frankenstein Pop. I like this one a lot. I'm a huge Universal Monsters fan, so. So let's get this guy out of the box. And there's Frankie Boy holding a flower. He's in the original movie, he has a flower in his hand. And all around, it's a cool looking pop. I, like, I really wanted a Herman Munster pop from the Munsters, but then I thought to myself, well, if I have Frankenstein, I pretty much have Herman Munster. Because they have the same exact fucking mold, so. So those are all those guys here. I'm going to clean the slate. I've got a set of eight pops from one of my favorite cartoons from when I was a kid. So let's clear this up and get to those. Clean the slate. Sip my rum. Okay, so this next set, like I said, it's from my, one of my favorite cartoons of all time from when I was a kid. Giving a big massive shout out to uh, Library Omnibus for uh, hooking me up with all of these guys. Also, congrats to Jenny and Andres on their uh, new addition to their family. Uh, you guys like the cartoon Gargoyles? I got a full set of Gargoyles pops. So without further ado, here we go. Alright, so first, right off the bat, we got... Lexington from Gargoyles. He was the little, basically, basically the runt of the litter, the little kid. All right, so there's Lexington. Looks pretty good. Try to turn around. There you go. Pretty good looking, actually. Will he stand? Oh, he's standing. Okay, okay, good, at least. So that's Lexington. He's pretty small, but he looks good, you know. Next up, we have Bronx, which is basically their dog. Nothing much to say about Bronx, he's just a dog, he didn't really do too much. Alright, there he is out of the packaging, and he's got a really good looking sculpt and mold to him. I mean, all these gargoyle pops look pretty good, you'll see anyways. So that's Bronx, let's see if we can... Next, we have the food-loving, the fun-loving, maybe a little more childlike in nature, Broadway. And do you believe me if I told you that Broadway has the same voice as Patrick Starr from Spongebob Squarepants. I am not bullshitting you. That is the fucking truth. So there's Patrick Starr. I'm sorry, I mean Broadway. With his hunk of, a, no, no, that's chicken or if that's turkey, but whatever the hell it is. Broadway with a huge, super huge fucking smile on his face. Seems really happy for some reason. I'm not happy right now. I'm not with YouTube's fucking laws right now, but hey, whatever. It's Broadway. He's pretty good looking, I'm not going to lie. Alright, let's get to the next one. Next up we have to 
my well, one of my my second favorite from the group, and I always thought that this guy was going to be probably the second in command. That was just my always my assumption. Uh, we've got Brooklyn. So there's Brooklyn. You know, he was basically the second voice of reason after Goliath, second in command. You know, that's at least I thought he was second in command. I could be wrong. But there's Brooklyn, full beak, arms crossed, the long hair and everything. You know, he doesn't take shit from no one. So there's your boy Brooklyn. Uh, up next, I got a specialty pop from the series. So this is only one. This is one that you could only order online. And uh, my my fault. The box is a, little, is a bit damaged to shit, but that's my that's my fault. Uh, so we got Hudson. I think technically he was supposed to be the second in command. He was basically Goliath's number two. I also was Lexi, I mean Brooklyn, but no, it was technically Hudson. So let's get this guy out of the box. Amazing looking figure, guys. They really represented Hudson well, I feel, with this figure. No wonder why it was a specialty figure. He comes with a sword and everything. He's really cool looking. That's Hudson. And I got three more. Next up. Goliath's former love, who, when they were all turned to stone for centuries of sleep, she stayed awake and learned to hate humans. Oh. We've got Demona. She was a devious, conniving one. Either you hate or you love her. I have a love-hate relationship with Demona. Mainly because, you know, everything she did was to... Kill the gargoyles, even though she hated the humans, so she was a bitch in her own right. <laughs> so there's the Mona outside of the packaging. And again, a good looking figure. I feel like they really captured her well. Get the long tail and everything there. I can't, it's too bright, I'm sorry. So there's the Mona. We gotta, I actually have a bonus Demona here. I have a variant, uh, an exclusive. I know there's no sticker on it, but yeah, I got a variant Demona. I'll get that out of the packaging quickly because it's basically the same thing. There you go. It's just basically her and her uh, stone form. You know, when during the daytime when they turn to stone. Couldn't find Goliath, but I could find Demona, so that was pretty cool. And finally, the leader of the Stone Clan crew, Mr. Goliath himself, the leader of the Gargoyles. No, I didn't say leader. Leader. Are you fucking grammar Nazis? Let's get this guy out of here. And there he is. I do have a minor complaint about Goliath. It's his face. He looks so fucked up. But it's okay, it's a pop. Another thing with Goliath... As a kid, I didn't realize this until I was a little older. Um, Goliath was voiced by an actor named Keith David. And Keith David also did the voice of Spawn from Spawn, the animated series. So to find, to hear Goliath basically word for word in an episode of Spawn saying, go fuck yourself, you little fat boy, or, you know, fuck yourself, you little piece of shit. That was really odd for me, hearing Goliath's voice coming out of Spawn's mouth. So just a little bit of random cartoon knowledge. Anyways, so that's the whole set of gargoyles. Let me know in the comments below if you want to. If, if you're allowed to leave comments, I don't fucking know anymore. Which, uh, which Funko product you thought was the, 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 the coolest out of this. And yeah, that, that's, that's the fucking Funko haul. That's it. Let me know what you guys thought. Oh, that's good. Get yourself a bottle of Kraken, not a sponsor, but that's a good, 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 good fucking rum right there. Sound off in the comments below, let me know what you guys thought. I honestly don't know if we'll be back with any more haul videos, especially with these new laws going on. I will comply, don't worry, I'll gladly comply with the laws. But, I don't know, just so much bullshit going on YouTube's end right now, so I don't know if I will be back with another haul or unboxing video. We'll see, time will tell. I can come back with comic books. I haven't done that in a long time. If you guys want to see, I mean, look, I've got, uh, and I'm a Spawn fan, so recently, recently picked up some of my, some Spawn comics, if you guys are interested in seeing some, some backhauls of that. 
So maybe we can do that and get that going at some point. That's basically uh, it for today, guys. Uh, thank you for sticking around and watching. If you did stick around and watch, and if you didn't, then I'm just talking to myself and I'm talking to nobody. But, you know, that's pretty much it. Comment, share, like, subscribe, all that shit if you want to. I don't know if I'll be back. Hi, this is Boomer the Pop. Like what you saw? Well, go ahead and watch the next video. You could always watch the video before that too. If you're new to the channel, well, welcome. And if you're not, then go ahead and subscribe. See you next time.